everyone and welcome back to the channel um happy new year hope you guys had an amazing start to the new year and i hope you guys had a brilliant christmas right um this is going to be your yearly love and general reading spread all right that i've done for you all i'm going to be using a new system so this reader may take a while so grab a cup of hot chocolate or tea or anything else that you enjoy sit back and relax now this reading is going to be for capricorn sun moon rising mars and venus and i may add that i am now open to doing personal reading so all my information is in the description box below all right so let's start off with your reading capricorn now the first card um is we will be looking at what energies you will be leaving behind in 2018 and when i shuffle the cards we had the eight of wands that came out and we also have this card which is actually from my love your inner goddess pack okay i absolutely love the illustration on this card and this card came out for you tribe of the kindred i carry your heart and I carry it in mine. Now, with these two cards paired up together, it indicates to me that some of you could be leaving behind somebody that could be a Sagittarius, okay? Because the Eight of Wands indicates to me um, fast movements, in and out communication, um, maybe passionate communication also, all right? Um, it kind of resembles the Knight of Wands. And, you know, Sagittarius are known to travel. And this is a traveling card, all right? So this is a Sagittarius to me. Like some of you guys could be leaving a Sagittarius or some of you guys could be leaving a part of you that mirrors a Sagittarius. So some of you could have a Sagittarius moon, rising Mars or something along them lines. But you want to leave that part of you behind of, you know, um, coming and going, not staying, all right? I feel for most of you because it's paired up with this card, Tribe of the Kindred. You have been involved in some sort of long distance relationship with someone and you wanted to make a solid commitment and because maybe this person wasn't being you know um forthcoming with you know their intentions or maybe they could have been quite flighty um here today gone tomorrow something along them lines you may have felt that this is not the person that i can commit to because this person is a person that may not want to be committed Okay, I feel like you all wanted to settle down with this person. Um, not all of you, some of you. Some of you may want to settle down with this person and some of you may not have wanted to settle down with this person, hence why you are closing the door on this person. But for others of you, you want a solid commitment and you knew to yourself that this is not the person that's gonna give me what I want. You want to merge with someone, okay? Um, and I do feel strongly because this card is paired up with each other, um, like you wanted to merge with this person, but you knew within your hearts that you could not carry them forward with you um, in the year 2019. You want a, a spiritual connection, you want a commitment, you want something that will last, you want something that you can build on. And I feel like this may have been like a long distance relationship whereby you see them sometimes and you don't hear from them and then they communicate with you online facebook i don't know um whatsapp telegram and then it's back on again um it may have been very exciting i feel like this was a very passionate connection but you felt that this, this wouldn't last the test of time maybe for, to some of you you could have felt that this 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 is just a person to have fun with not someone that i can settle down with i want to lay my roots with and capricorn is now going through their transit you guys are going through your transit um, because Saturn is actually in Capricorn at the moment and um, the South Node is in Capricorn also, right? So those of you that know about North Node and South Node, North Node is who you're meant to be in this life, South Node is what you're meant to leave behind, okay? So I felt, I feel for some of you that you may have mirrored this person whilst you were with them. Um, you may have felt like, you know, I want to be more carefree, I want to be more... Um, free-spirited like this person because I feel like you were dealing with some sort of free-spirited individual and again if you did have those sort of qualities with you when you were with this person it's because the south node has now gone in to Capricorn what you're going to leave behind and Capricorns are known for wanting to build structure wanting to build a want, wanting to build foundations and there's nothing wrong with that I I I 
you know, admire that and I love that as well, right? And I, I live for that, trust me. But I feel like because Capricorn is in its south node, you may have left behind the true essence of yourself, what you really wanted, if that makes sense to some of you, i.e. commitment settling down. Whereas with this person, they may have been going with the flow of things and you may have found that exciting, um, but not really getting in touch with what you really wanted, almost like shunning that side of yourself and living in the moment. This person lives in the moment, all right? And for others of you, like I mentioned before, you know, Saturn is going through your sign, you're, you're having a transit on your sign, and, you know, Capricorn is all about, you know, commitment and, you know, setting down roots, rules, regulations, restrictions, blockages for some of you as well, and some of you may have felt that this relationship wasn't going anywhere, and I want a solid commitment, some of you could be going for your Saturn return, which is all about laying down roots okay getting into a partnership or leaving behind a, a very you know important partnership within your life this could have been going on for eight years for some of you some of you guys could be 28 all right and i feel like um for others of you you just want more because Saturn is, you are going through a Saturn transit at the moment, which will last for another two years, I believe. You're looking at things differently. You're looking at things on more of a level of, I want to settle down. I want to, I don't want nothing that is going to be just for fun. Okay. I want that commitment. Um, for others of you, you just want to close the door on things that will not stand the test of time. That's what I'm feeling. This was more for like fun, I feel for more of you. Something that's just in the moment, something that you didn't want to carry through. Um, but at the same time, I do feel like you enjoyed yourself. You had a lot of fun, but you knew that this was this did not have longevity. And I feel like you're, you're closing the door behind all that. And anything else that you feel like does not have longevity, anything else that you may feel like um, will not last because, you know, Capricorns are all about endurance, things that are long lasting. And because you're going through your transit, you'll feel these effects even more. You want something that will be long lasting, something that's not flighty. And I feel like it could be for some of you a, a job that, you know, it could have been an as and when job. They call you, you know, and you have to travel to this job. Or for others of you, I feel like it's a relationship. Um, it could be a friendship. There's two women here that you left behind. It was good for that time, but I want a friendship that's more long lasting. I want a friendship that you know, when I speak to this person, they can empathize with me, not someone that's just all about going out and partying and having fun. I can go on with this car, but this is what I feel like you'll be leaving behind in the year 2018. Now, let's move on to what will you be carrying moving forward? Now, we have this, a world of fortune in the reverse, and it mirrors what we were just discussing in the first card, the four of pentacles and the moon, okay? So the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, let's start off with this card. This card is indicating to me that, again, some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius person, all right? And I feel like, yeah, I, I two things. I, I feel like, okay, Sagittarius came out of, Cap, um, came out of Saturn in the year 2017. And maybe you could have still been in the, that sort of energy of just like, you know, being free spirited and not to say Capricorns can't be free spirited it depends what else you have going on in your chart but maybe you could have been in that energy but now that you know we are in the full effect of Capricorn being in Saturn you may have closed the door and think you know I've got to be serious about my life like I can't be playing around like this but I strongly feel like you guys were dealing with someone that was a Sagittarius or who embodied the Sagittarius energies and you do not want to associate yourself with them anymore wheel of fortune in reverse wheel of fortune is the card of sagittarius to me and it's also the card of jupiter abundance luck prosperity it's in the reverse so you will not be you don't want to carry this thing forward okay we also have four of pentacles now this is your card to me because the man is holding on to um his emotions the man is holding on to his finances his feelings you don't really know he's not going to let you know so you're going to be quite um, reserved if this person decides to try and make an appearance 
to you. Um, some of you could end this friendship, connection, job abruptly and it could just come out of nowhere to this person. And they may try and, you know, for some of you, they may try and ask, why have you done this? And you will be like not answering their calls. I know this is not a communication card, but I feel like your feelings will be shut down. You will not explain to this person why you've done what you did. And some of you may not even realize why you've done what you did. It's almost like you had this epiphany, like, I can't be with you anymore. I can't do this job anymore. I need to leave. So if that is the case, then maybe just explain to the person, to the people, why you've done it. I'm in a new, I'm going through a new phase in my life right now and I really need to focus and, you know, I can't do what we did in the past and this is where I want to go, this is what I want to do, okay? Or you guys can find a way of trying to explain to the person because I do see, like, there might be an abrupt sort of halt to this friendship or job or, you know, relationship and you're going to be quite reserved with your feelings towards this person and we also have the moon. So it, there are, there will be a lot of feelings. There will be a lot of emotions. But there's going to be a fear there with you. Um, fearing to reveal your emotions. Um, fearing that if you, you know, express your emotions, you'll get entangled back up into that lifestyle that you're trying to leave behind. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces. Again, a Sagittarius also. But there will be like this fear. This You will feel that of, of, obviously there will be a sense of loss, all right? But at the same time, you'll be trusting your gut, trusting your intuition, feeling that if you open up to this person, this person's going to come and bite you for some of you. So this person's going to come and sting you. And I don't really feel sting you or bite you. I really, I feel more like this person may drag you back into the time warp and the experiences that you experience with them. So the best thing for you, you feel you need to do is just hold your feelings close to your chest and continue moving forward, all right? So now let's look at what's your aspirations for the year ahead and what you want to achieve, okay? Forward movement, we have the Knight of Swords. So you want to just cut yourself off from this situation or experience that you've endured. You want to move forward. Um, you may do it, and a lot of people may be quite shocked with your actions because it's going to be quite sudden, quite quick. But I feel like you, you want to move forward, but... This card is, you know, going to me, going backwards. So some of you may want to go back to this Sagittarius person, okay? Or this job that was very, this job that required you to travel, okay? Um, some of you may feel like, I want to go back. Some of you may feel like, I'm going to go back to this friendship. Some of you may feel like, um, I, I want to go back. Others of you may just cut off communication and just move away from it completely, leaving other people shocked. And I feel if you're dealing with this person, you will leave them very shocked because it will come out of nowhere. Um, Knight of Swords, sorry, I said King before. Knight of Swords is a person that, to me, is an Aquarius. It's a person that is, um, it could be very unorthodox, eccentric. Um, doing things abruptly, because if you look, that horse is, like, quite shot, like, well, what's going on here? What are you doing? Um, and not really connecting to their emotions, just going, you know, just doing things quickly. They even shot themselves. So you could even end up going back to this person without realising that, oh, my God, like, what? Well, I promised myself I wouldn't, I wouldn't even go back. But what am I doing? So if you go back to this person, it will leave others shocked. <laughs> if you cut this person off, it will leave this person shocked. All right? So I see some sort of indecisiveness around this person or this job or these people. Um, and you may be quite indecisive as, as what to do regarding this situation. There's going to be a lot of abrupt changes. Um... Aquariuses are ruled by Uranus. Uranus is all about, you know, sudden, quick changes. Um, things that are, are different. Things that are unorthodox. So you guys may decide to do something completely different. Go out with somebody that you didn't even think you'll go out with. Um, 
there will be a massive change but it's going to leave whatever you guys do it's going to leave a lot of people shocked and you may even shock yourself okay and i feel like for some of you you may want to shock <laughs> you may want to shock you may want to shock for some reason you may want to shock in the sense of i want to do a job that no one would even think i can do i want to go out with somebody completely opposite to what i've been out with before um you're all about just you know quick movements and maybe not staying what you wanted to leave behind you may embody that now um because i feel like for some of you you could have felt like you're wasting your time in 2018 with this specific individual or friendship or job and you don't want to stick around this is what i'm getting from this card as well you don't want to stick around in any situation that is going to make you feel like you're wasting time if you see any red flags you will not have no qualms about cutting the situation off cutting the person out and moving on that's what i'm getting more just moving away quickly if something's not working out for you moving away quickly that's for your dreams and aspirations now let's look at what will empower you during the year now we have the empress sorry the high priestess i always get these two cards mixed up because to me they still represent the same thing someone that is in touch with their emotions but i feel like the, the high priestess is not as warm as the empress the high priestess is very intuitive this person is a psychic this is a pisces um she knows a lot she has a lot of secrets but she doesn't reveal all she's like that person that uh, <laughs> observes but doesn't really let on to what she sees about others so i feel like you'll be very observant throughout this year and this will empower you being very observant about this year and this card the high priestess paired up with the knight of swords they're not paired together but they're next to each other so both of them next door to each other indicates to me that you will be very observant and if you see anything that does not resonate with you anything that you know makes you feel as though it has red flags screaming at you you will cut it off and move on you have no qualms of it being in touch with your intuition knowing that um trusting your gut as well and this is what i feel you know will empower you during the year this will empower you before i don't feel like you're really in touch with your intuition not really trusting your gut i feel like you were you know obviously from time to time we may not trust our gut we don't always do it we kind of ignore sometimes like oh what is that feeling oh, that doesn't mean anything but i feel like in 2018 you were embodying the energies of this person these people this job because it was so fast paced you know and it didn't allow you the time to sit and feel and trust only towards the ending of the year you may realize okay do i want to go into 2019 with this situation right here and this is when the energies of the high priestess may have kicked in with you and you'll be embodying these energies throughout the year being intuitive trusting your gut seeing situations for what they are for not not for what you want them to be and realizing that you know i do have choices and um in in whatever situation i'm in i'll just cut the situation off and move on i'm not waiting around i'm not wasting my time um some of you may realize that you know you're very spiritual throughout this year and you know capricorn is going through their transit with jupiter which indicates to me that you guys could be really getting in touch with yourself um capricorn is in the 12th house for its jupiter transit so you guys could realize you're really getting in touch with yourself um you're really understanding you know the the hidden sides of people or situations realizing it not being afraid of it and it could be some sort of secrecy as well because high priestess does speak about secrecy keeping your feelings close to your chest going back to the four of pentacles keeping your feelings and thoughts close to your chest keeping your moves close to your chest um <laughs> this is like a leo reading i've done leo's reading a few days back and it was quite similar not exactly but quite similar 
keeping your feelings and thoughts close to your chest. Maybe before you may have felt like I was giving too much in a situation. I don't want to be like that moving forward. I'm going to be very observant. I'm going to see and feel out situations before I invest. If I'm not feeling it, I'm moving on. Okay? Knight of Swords. I'm moving on. All right? So let's move on. So what energy can you harness throughout the year 2019? So this is the energy that this spread is telling you to harness. The King of Cups. So I know for some of you, you may feel like I can't show my feelings, I can't show my emotions, but I feel more so to that person. And this card, King of Cups, paired up with the High Priestess. To me, it indicates that yes, because you'll be getting in touch with your intuition, your emotions, your feelings, how you really feel as opposed to how you really think, right? You'll be able to express that. You'll have a lot of love to offer. You will have a lot of love to give to specific people. Not to ones that you feel like will waste your time. Not to ones that you feel like you're unable to invest in. There will be a lot of love there. Some of you guys could be dealing with a someone that is a Scorpio, all right, or a Pisces, okay? So some of you could be dealing with somebody that, you know, that you fall in love with this year. You may let go of this um Sagittarius person or person that embodies that sort of energy and I feel like um you could find that someone that is of a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces could be of significance to you we've got Pisces twice okay you could <laughs> end up with a Piscean person and this could be some sort of secret relationship but you may fall in love with this person, but this is someone that I feel will have significance within your life. And also this card is indicating to me that you need to get in touch with yourself. You need to um, show people your heart, okay? <clears throat> the King of Cups is a person that is not afraid to, exp to me, I'm on the fence with the King of Cups. Sometimes he, he looks like he's got one foot in and one foot out, but he has a depth of emotions, but Falling in love, but not telling the person that you love them. If that's the case, and you do feel like the person loves you back, then by all means, open your heart, express how you feel. Okay? So this is what is the energy that you will harness throughout the year. Just opening your heart more. Not being afraid to open your heart. Not letting that experience from the past affect your future. Okay? Now let's look at what energy what can you expect in each area in your life now basically with this area here I have shuffled specific cards that have come out and we'll be looking at different areas love spirit health relationships all right home and wealth and then we're going to focus on this card first. This is the Tower card. So in the areas of love and relationships, it's going to be some sort of abrupt change. And I mentioned that before. I feel like the abrupt change will be cutting off whoever you were with before in the past, as well as maybe going out with someone that is quite different from yourself, going out with someone that, and I feel like this person that you was with before was quite different from yourself. It could have been someone from a different cultural background or, or someone that is the total opposite to you. But I feel like whoever you may encounter this year will be someone that may even shock you that you're, you know, that you potentially could have fallen in love with. I feel you will fall in love with this person. But there may be a sudden abrupt change, which I just mentioned, spoke about, in terms of your love life. Um, in terms of your friendship as well, you may get rid of, you know, two people that you may have felt that you did not want to get rid of. You will be, you know, best friend forever. Could be two females, but I see that there's going to be a shake up in your love life. Um, which may shock others as well. And a shake up of, you know, getting rid of friendships that no longer serve you. Okay. Um, with your 
with your health with the tower card i feel like there's going to be some sort of shock um with your health so maybe i feel you all may decide to do something drastic i want to just join up with the gym i want to you know create a new health regime and other people may be quite shocked because then we're probably not used to you being this way inclined in regards to your health like you may have like a sort of strict diet I don't really believe in diets guys I believe in small portions but um you may just decide I'm just going to be a vegan or something along them lines but it's going you're going to do something very drastic all right in regards to your health and in regards to your spirit it's almost like you guys will have some sort of spiritual awakening this card with the high priestess indicates this as well you're going to be getting in touch with yourself you're going to be more intuitive um some of you again may be more in touch with your higher mind um realizing that you're psychic or your uh empaths or you know jupiter is in pi in is in capricorn's 12th house at the moment so your higher mind although when I'm, I'm not speaking about um the ninth house um the 12th house is all, all about things that are kept hidden okay but jupiter in that house highlights it in a more positive way right so things that are kept hidden again going back to the high priestess indicates that you may have a secret hidden relationship you may fall in love with a piscean person right um the tower card indicates to me that in the position of your spirit that something that may be kept hidden could be revealed you know um, in terms of your spirit, or you may have an epiphany, you may have a spiritual awakening, I feel, and you may start to look at the life in a different way, like, why didn't I see this thing before, why didn't I understand that, why, why didn't I realise this, this is, this is who I was always meant to be, and this is probably the reason why you've gotten rid of, you know, this person, these people, this job, because you realise that you have a higher calling to yourself, all right, um again which may shock others and your home life is going to be a, a sudden dramatic abrupt change in your home life some of you may move okay some of you may um just decide you know what i can't live here this area is not resonating with me spiritually i need to leave i cannot prosper in this area um i need to move home i need to reinvent my home i need to change my home around okay i could stay on that card guys um let's also see <clears throat> with the second card what will empower you with your love and um relationships and it's the sun card so very positive very very positive in terms of your love life i see a lot of positivity okay you'll be getting in touch with your inner child whoever you may be with i feel like a piscean a water sign in general is very strong throughout this year for you guys and i feel like whoever this person is, they will allow you to get in touch with your inner child, see things from a different perspective as opposed to how it was before. Um, see things, see that there are possibilities in life that you can encounter. Um, someone that is very positive, it will be a very positive friendship, it will be a very positive relationship. Um, a lot of creativity as well so you may find that you learn from your partner you may find that you learn from new friendships as well and there will be a lot of happiness a lot of joy and a lot of laughter and a lot of play as well get in touch with your inner child like i mentioned before and also in regards to your health you'll have a very positive outlook as opposed to how your health you know where your health will take you i.e you know if i continue with this eating regime i'm going to look this way or i'm going to feel this way um feeling good within yourself creating that self-love um by putting good foods into your body i'm not trying to you know preach here guys because i'm just like the next person need to keep away from biscuits sometimes and chocolate right so i'm just reading what how you guys may feel throughout the year so i'm not trying to preach but um i feel like feeling happy within yourself that you've taken that step to change your to change your um your health regime um and 
you know, gaining the the look that you wanted. Like for some of you, you may feel like, okay, this is a year I'm going to be this size or I'm going to look like this. So I'm feeling for men, I'm going to, you know, have create a lot of muscles. And, you know, I feel like you will achieve it because you'll be working towards it. And whilst doing that, you'll be loving yourself, which will push you even more to, to gain this, you know, this outcome that you want, all right? So having a positive outlook as to how you want to look and working towards it. In regards to your wealth, I see prosperity, I see happiness, um, I see, and I'll have to go back to the tower because I didn't cover wealth with that. Prosperity, happiness, and, um, you know, a lot of beneficial opportunities, a lot of beneficial projects, a job that's going to make you happy, all right? Because for some of you, I feel like what you left behind, an old job for that group of people that I was speaking to, that job did not make you happy. You didn't know where you were coming or going. You may have, you know, had to travel, you know, and it could have been an as and when job, i.e. whenever I get a phone call, then I get a job. Um, bills need to be paid. So it was a job that was quite unstable and erratic, but feeling happy with whatever job that you want. Some of you guys could um do something that is creative which will gain you money all right something a long lost passion that you always like put to the back of your mind like it will never work out for me some of you may gain wealth from this creative project some of you guys could be in the spotlight some of you guys could do something like sewing or um singing or drawing something that is creative knitting um crochet something that you enjoy something that makes you feel good Okay, that's going to be attached with your wealth. So any of you guys that are creators out there and you feel like, oh, there's no point, please do it because this card is urging you that it could bring you money. Okay. Um, your spirit, you'll be feeling very positive before you may have not been in touch with your spiritual side. I feel I see. But now that you would have gone within, you would have been trusting your intuition. Um you may even be surrounded by more positive people as opposed to negative people and your your spirit your spirituality will help you gain um more of a positive outlook on life as opposed to drawing more positive things to you because you would have been in touch with your spirituality because you'll be getting in touch with your spirituality throughout this year trusting your intuition also as well as you know manifesting some of you may be manifesting realizing that if i get get in touch with myself and manifest I will gain, you know, what I want as well as feeling good within myself because I hear and see manifestations is a part, uh, plays a big part in your life. In regards to home, uh, some of you guys may find that, you know, moving to somewhere hot, some of you may move to somewhere hot, a location that or if not somewhere hot, a location that makes you feel more comfortable, more welcomed, more at peace, more um, somewhere where you feel like you can flourish, where you can grow. So wherever you move to, or for those of you that are not moving, changing your home, making it more brighter will help you. You know, maybe doing redecorations, maybe painting your home, maybe painting brighter colors within your home to make it more vibrant it will help you also all right but going back to the tower card in regards to wealth i feel like there could be some sort of abrupt um some sort of abrupt you know change in regards to your wealth which, which may shock you all right so you could get this bill that this comes out from nowhere um but i feel like because this card is next to the sun card you will overcome it so whatever this thing is, like, in regards to your wealth, um, and I feel because you would have left this job for some of you, a group of you, it will affect your wealth. Because you may have left this person for some of you, it will affect your wealth. But again, I see that your wealth will pick up if that is the case. Your wealth will pick up because you, you'll do something that is associated to your creativity, which also indicates that you will have to then rely on yourself, rely on your own creations to gain the wealth that you could have been getting from someone else, if that makes sense, as well as doing something that makes you happy, which gets you that wealth anyway. So I don't need to be in a job that I don't want to be in. That makes me unhappy. I don't care if it, you know, paid my bills. Was it for my higher good? Was it 
feeding me spiritually, you know, but I do see there's going to be some sort of halt um, and a bit of a shock to your, your wealth, you know, during the year. But like I mentioned, it will pick up because you will be focusing on yourself and what makes you happy, how you can, you know, acquire your own wealth and how you can trust yourself enough to put that creative project or do that creative thing to get you that wealth, put your, putting yourself out there, you know, to get your clients to, to make money from this creative thing, which will put your, your wealth back on an even keel. All right. So let's focus on this card. Now the King of Swords with those same four areas, guys, um, with your love. Again, I see there's going to be a bit of detachment, um, bit of aloofness, bit of coldness, Again, <laughs> I feel like it's because of what you went through before and, you know, paired up with the Knight of Swords, you know, being quite, some of you may date a lot before you meet this water sign person, okay? Um, or if it's not a, a Pacific water sign person, they will be very, um, they could be very dreamlike, they could have water in their chart, they could have a sun, moon rising, okay? Um, but I feel like, you know, King of Swords as well. It could be a, a water sign person or it could be an ear sign person as well. It could be Aquarius or a um, a Libra that you may encounter because I'm seeing Libra three times here. So it's definitely an ear sign person that will be of importance to you. Um, but I feel like you guys may be quite detached in terms of your love life and being quite aloof as well and being, and not being quiet, being aloof, being very you know observant as well high priestess but being very emotionally some of you cold right going back to the four of pentacles some of you cold but some of you just observant and if this person doesn't serve me if i'm not resonating if i'm not connecting i have no qualms with cutting this person off some of you may even block people i'm not putting that out there but this is what i see um some of you and I, not all of you may block, but I feel like some of you may decide that I don't want to speak to this person anymore. There's no point in me in, even entertaining this conversation. So I'm not answering my phone. Um, I'm moving on, swiftly moving on. Friendships, relationships, that's what I see you doing. Having no qualms about it. Not sticking around, not wasting your time, right? Um, for your health, I see you being very diligent with your health and being very focused as well. Not letting anyone try and get in the way of that you know if you if you set out you know for instance if you decide that you're going to spend a weekend with your friends or your parents house or you know your your sister your brother something along them lines and you know they just say okay i don't want to cook today um let's get a burger or something you'll be like no i've got my ready-made meals I, I prepped my meals already just being very diligent with your health um not letting no one sway you like oh come on man it's the weekend i like, just eat it's gonna be like a burger. You'll be like, no, I've got my um my ready-made meals. Is that what you call them, guys? I've got my ready-made meals already. They're in the containers. I'm eating this today, that tomorrow. You're gonna be very diligent with your health. Fantastic. If you need to go to the gym, even if you're feeling tired, I feel like some of you will be like, I know I'm tired, but I need to go to the gym. So I see some of you um, you know, coming home from work, dropping your bag, grabbing your gym bag, and then just heading out. So you don't have an excuse to just procrastinate and think about it and get guilt feel guilty for not doing it i see you be very diligent with your health um and you know in terms of exercise your wealth again some of you may decide to move into so i see a lot of creativity but some of you may decide also to move into an area of um work that requires you to be very logical so some of you may decide to be an accountant some of you um may decide you know what i need to, i want to study law i've been interested in that i want to do psychology i want to you know become a nurse a doctor okay um but you may study in secret <laughs> no one may know but you may feel like if i do this then it will gain me the wealth that i want okay it will gain me the the knowledge that i seek and some of you may have always wanted to do something like this, but felt that you didn't have any time. But I see for some of you, 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 you will attach yourself to things that will gain you that wealth, okay? Something of that uses the higher mind. People may even come to you. Some of you guys may decide, I want to be a counsellor, a psychologist. I know this is not a water sign card, but that's what I'm feeling. Um, so you may gain money from people 
getting your advice okay so well not counselor because counselors don't give advice they listen to your problems and you know what you have that is burdening you and but i see some sort of advisor for some of you because king of swords is someone that is very um logical intelligent and they give good advice so maybe being like an advisor okay a speaker for some of you something that is going to help you gain wealth but something that you enjoy as well spiritually again i feel like you will be quite guarded with your spirituality not allowing people how to know how much you know um being discerning as to who can come within your space you know not feeling any sort of way to cut people out that are not serving you protecting your spirituality king of swords right um home again i see that you could just pick up and move for some of you leave where you used to live from the past just pick yourself up and move and not look back or just change your home some of you i feel like you're going to move though there's going to be a move here and um you just want to leave behind the past leave behind the past okay let's move on to the empress with those four areas or five areas that we just discussed so in terms of love in terms of love i feel like this is something that you're going to want to grow, okay? This is something that you're going to want to grow. And some of you may decide that, you know what, this is a person that I can um, commit to. This is a person that I can have children with, all right? I'm not seeing children this year in this card, but I see that like, you will feel, because jobs seem to be very important to me with you guys here. It seems to be very, very important to me and just leaving the past behind and people that don't serve you and getting in touch with yourself, learning about yourself. So I feel like with the Empress, whoever you commit to will be someone that you, yeah, you'll feel like whoever you end up with, whether it's this air sign person or this water sign person, this is someone that you can commit to. This is someone that you can grow with. This is someone that you can have children with. This is someone that can be my wife or can be my husband. Um, very positive. Friendships as well will have to be substantial friendships friendships that will stand the test of time not friendships that are going to be flighty you're in a period of your life where you want things to be long lasting serious right you want to nurture things friendships relationships you want things to grow so um that's what i see um if you do encounter this person you will want to set set, set down roots with this person settle down with this person you want this to be long lasting if you have friendships as well, you want to bond, you want to grow, nothing to be too flighty. You want to be able to express yourself, to be open. And I feel like you will be open. Remember the King of Cups, you will be open. So whoever you are connecting with, you want to be able to feel that same openness back. All right. So let's go on to health. Your health, again, the Empress. Some of you could find out that you're pregnant this year. Right, and if you're a man listening, you could find out that your partner is pregnant this year, or if you meet someone this year, it could be a quick pregnancy. Okay, um, but I do see that you'll be nurturing yourself because the Empress is all about someone that nurtures, that cares, that's kind and warm. So I do feel you'll be nurturing yourself, getting in touch with yourself, giving yourself that self love. I get such a warm feeling when I speak about the Empress. Um, yeah, so I do feel like you'll be more kind to yourself than you have done in the past, which is amazing. And in terms of, and like I said, like giving yourself the fruits that, the fruits, the food, um, I don't know why I said fruits, because I feel she's wearing, yeah, she's wearing, I'm just thinking of strawberries, that's not strawberries, that's more like, um, ladybirds on her dress. But I feel like you'll be eating a lot of fresh food food some of you may decide you know what i just want to eat more greens this year because i know i haven't been doing that or i want to eat more vegetable or salads or you know just being more in touch with nature being more in touch with your body knowing that whatever you feed your body will help you spiritually so just being more kinder to yourself i feel wealth again i see you settling down in a, a situation whereby again it's going back to the sun card creativity creativity and also a leo could be of importance for you this year as well 
a Leo could be of importance for you um, in all areas of your life as well. Um, but again, I see that you'll be attaching yourself to something that is creative to help you gain your wealth, doing something that you are passionate about, doing something that, you know, other people may say, oh, you know, it's not going to work for you. There's no point. You're not going to make money. No, believing in yourself, remember, high priestess, as well as doing something that you love and not just to get money, because sometimes when you do something that you enjoy, it doesn't even become a job, but you still make money from it. And because you're not doing it for the the, the soul attachment of, oh, I want to make money, I want to make money. The universe blesses you anyway, and I see that happening for you. Gaining money from a creative project, gaining money from a passion, gaining money from something that, you know, it's just a dream for you, and you're just making money off it without even, obviously, you'll realize it, but that's not your main intention. Your main intention is having the love for it, and that's what's going to make you the most wealth from it, okay? Um, and your spirit, again, being in touch with yourself spiritually, trusting yourself building on your spirituality this is an ongoing thing even for tarot card readers like we're not perfect by any means we have you know you know like i said i like chocolate right and i like <laughs> biscuit and and stuff like that so um there's we're not perfect no one's perfect we're human right we're just a vessel to just speak you know the words that we've been you know given to speak and um, I just feel like you'll be getting more in, more in touch with your spirituality, understanding your spirituality and loving yourself more. The Empress loves herself. You know, the same way she gives out love to others, she also gives love to herself. And I see you doing that. Um, and your home life, being very stable, loving your home. If it's a home that you're still in, that you're not moving from, loving your home because you would have created an environment where you can be comfortable. All right. And... Yeah, I just see that wherever you may be, for some of you, I feel more decorations um, within the home to change it into an environment where you'll feel happier and more positive. Some of you may decide I need to move because I can't expand in my environment. OK, but for others of you, it's more like just being comfortable in your home, um, making sure that your home represents how you feel inside and how you will be able to grow as well. All right. So let's move on to card 10 and it is your focus point of the year. Your focus point of the year, we have we've got a lot of swords. So again, yeah, an uh, ear sign is going to be of significance to you highly and you will be embodying the energies of the ear sign person as well. So we have the six of swords, ace of wands and the eight of swords, right? So this is indicating to me, let's start with the Six of Swords, you, you will, your focus point of the year is moving on from things that no longer serve you, not looking behind, um, moving on to more calmer waters, again, Knight of Swords as well, cutting people off um, that no longer serve you, not looking back, not thinking about it, um, and maybe shocking people with your actions, right? Um, most importantly, I feel like you'll just be moving away from things that don't serve you and not looking back. That is your main focus point. Um, this could happen within the six month for some reason. Like I said, this Sagittarius person who, or whoever this person is, this job or something may call you out of the blue and you may be really low on money and you may think, oh, you know, maybe I should go back to it. But, um, and, but I see that you'll, you'll be cutting something off job, work, um, love, friendship, right? Not looking back. This might may only kick in within the six month half of the year for you guys, right? Feeling a bit sad, sorry for, but knowing it's the best thing for me. Um, gaining clarity. Yeah, your focus is gaining clarity from people, situations, things, high priestess. So attaching the mind to the intuition as well. Very powerful, guys. So you'll be very logical about things, looking at things in a more logical viewpoint like will that benefit me like how's that going to be in the long term i see this energy kicking in from the ending of 2018 for some of you and it's just like you know what this person can't or this job or thing can't come with me in 2018 they've got to go um and also we have the eight of eight of swords not focusing on feeling trapped and disempowered and bounded right leaving that behind in 2018 some of you may have felt this way 
because I'm looking at the eight swords. Some of you may have felt this way. Those, you know, adjectives I just described, not, not being in that energy anymore. I mean, it, we're human beings. Sometimes if we see something or we feel something, we have to embrace that feeling. We, sometimes we may feel that way, but not feeling attached to a person and attaching yourself to something that is just passionate because I feel like most of you stayed in that connection or friendship or job because it had a level of passion attached to it or excitement or change some of you has changed like I might hear from them I may not or I may travel here for the job or I may not get a call not to say you enjoyed it but not attaching yourself to that but being more attached to the the sense of um change and feeling comfortable with it, even if you weren't comfortable with it, if that makes sense. Being used to it. So it's like, okay, it's whatever. So that's what's going to happen. So I may as well just, that's what I feel. But not being attached to that. Leaving that behind in the past. The focus point of the year for you all is clarity. You will be gaining clarity, the aha moment. Seeing people for who they truly are. Not being afraid to cut them off. Not being afraid to... Um, use your logic as well as your intuition in all areas of your life but being more logical i see this one high priestess i do see you'll be using your intuition but more so as some sort of secret relationship that will take place you don't want no one to know about it um very logical very logical this will serve you to be this way this is what these cards are saying now let's see what lessons will you learn over the coming year we have the star, Aquarius. We have the devil. This is your card, guys, Capricorn. And then we have the seven of swords. Okay. Again, you've got a lot of ear in your chart. An ear sign person is going to be of high importance to you all this year. All right. Um, because we've got Aquarius. We've got Gemini. We've got Libra. You know, we've got all these cards here. So comment below, guys, um, if you know this person already or if you don't. Okay, so I feel like, um, let's start off with the star. With the star card, um, you will, you know, let's start off with the star. The lessons you will learn this year is that your dreams will come true. You will gain healing because this, this card is all about healing. But to me, it's all about dreams coming true, manifesting. This card represents manifesting. You need to go within if you want to see anything materialize you will need to go within but i feel like there's going to be a sense of balance and you know um believing in yourself trusting yourself loving yourself first and manifesting your dreams not just procrastinating thinking oh you know it's never going to happen to me trusting that you know once i get in touch with my spirituality i can trust myself more to materialize what i want to see in the in the 3d right um and also we have the devil card you learn over the coming years not to be this way inclined, all right? Um, not to feel bounded or chained to anything. And I, I see that you'll be learning that, cutting people off. Look, I know I keep going back to the Knight of Swords, but I, I feel like it's going to be of hev heavy significance throughout this year, this sort of energy of like, okay, that's not working for me. I've got to go. This job is not good for me. It's not good for my higher good. I've got to go. Not feeling bounded and tied to anything that doesn't serve you. Not being a slave to things. Not feeling you know, I have to stay, it's my duty to stay, not feeling as though you owe anyone anything, if it's not for your higher good, letting things go, all right, this is the lessons that you will learn, it may take maybe until the sixth month for you to, you know, get into the flow of things of this sort of energy, but not feeling chained to anything, obliged, obligated to stay when, you, when you're clearly not happy, um, toxic situations, toxic friendships, jobs, relationships, okay? And then we have the Seven of Swords. I don't like this card, guys. I'm, you guys must know by now, right? Um, this will, you know, I do mention that you will be cutting people off and, you know, anyone that doesn't serve you. But this card indicates that, you know, yes, you can, you know, distance yourself from people and things that don't serve you, but do it in a way that is not going to harm or affect another person. Simply explain, I feel, okay, because this man is not explaining anything. He is just bouncing. I'm just going to be real, right? He is just sneaking away. No one likes people that sneak around, right? We don't like people that do these dodgy things. So just treat people the way you want to be treated. 
So if you feel like something's not working out for you, explain this. I'm, I'm not happy. Well, obviously, you can't tell someone I'm not happy in this job, you know, because you've got some people may not want to give you recommendation or something like that or reference if you're in London. But just say, um, I found something else and um, this is not this is not the right hours for me. Um, and I, I'm going to move on. Right. Telling people what your intentions are or I, I don't feel like we're going in the same um we, we go, we're going down the same path with this relationship because I want commitment I want to settle down and I feel like you're not ready for that yet so I feel like we should just be friends or we we should no longer communicate being open and honest with others and not just cutting people off not sneaking away right doing things to people how we you know treating people how we want to be treated because no one like I said I don't like this card and no one likes people treating them like this doing dodgy things so you know by all means, protect yourself, but do it in a way whereby, you know, the other person understands and it's not done in a way that's going to shape people to the core or make people feel like, did I do something and have that sort of worry in their head? So that's what I feel like will be your, that you will need to learn over the coming year. Um, and then number 12 is the justice card. This is fantastic. And it shows what to expect for the year. All right. So you will gain justice throughout the year. All right. Whatever you wanted, if you wanted that relationship, if you wanted that commitment, I feel like most of you want that commitment with someone, you will gain justice from that. If you want to do your home, home commitment for me and um, work is highlighted, but this is a general reading. So I do see that you'll gain justice throughout this year. It will be a very positive year for you guys. And um, obviously with a few bumps, with, you know, nothing is smooth sailing. But I do feel like at the end of it all, you will look back and feel like, you know, it's just been a better year for me than 2018 was. Um, yes, 2018, I feel was exciting for some of you traveling and, you know, this long distance relationship and things like this. But at the same time, I don't feel like it was, you know, you felt that you could continue that way. And I feel like in 2019, you will gain justice. It will be balanced. You'll be more balanced this year. Um, relationships will be more equal give and take. Um, creativity, you'll be able to express yourself more. Some of you may even decide that you want to do something regarding law, like a legal secretary or something like that. Um, but something that you may have put aside for a while, but feeling the need to express that side to yourself. Also, some of you, I feel, will... You're just going to be gaining a lot of balance and, and you'll feel like, yes, I've done it. I've gained justice in all areas of my life. Um, I might, you know, obviously nothing's 100 percent, but at the same time, it will, it does look like a very good year for you, Capricorn. It really does. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of crisscrossing now. So I'm going to look at the aspirations of Pile 3 and compare the outcome. All right. So again you know, moving away from things that no longer serve you, as I said, um, cause this card is an abrupt card. This person is rushing away abruptly, but not doing it in a way whereby, um, it's going to harm others by not doing it in an abrupt way. I feel will gain you more justice. Okay. Um, but by all means, like I mentioned, if something's no longer serving you and you're not resonating with it and you don't feel like you can grow by being in that group or with that person, then just, removing yourself from that person, okay, um, that will gain you justice, also, you want to look, um, nine, five, five. by being more open, by being more loving, you know, warm, generous, and I feel like you will be, because I see that you'll be falling in love this year, um, it will gain you justice as well, because you may find that this person is as loving as you, does mirror you, and you wanted to, you wanted that in 2018 with this specific person, but you felt that you were mirroring them, which wasn't, you know, you weren't embodying how you truly felt, so you may have felt that, okay, they just want, like, this sort of open, long-distance relationship, um, let me just go along with it, even though inside you were yearning for that commitment, but I see that you will have that justice, you will meet someone that has, as like-minded as yourself okay someone that is warm caring kind nurturing um and someone that will love you and someone that wants that commitment you will gain justice in that so capricorn i did say it was long-winded guys but um i enjoyed that reading actually fantastic year ahead for you all please like share and subscribe and i shall speak to you soon and happy new year take care of yourself peace out